guys. Welcome to the new headquarters of Marsupial Gear. We started moving in last week. Uh, we started sewing a week ago, but um, we are moved in now. We got our flag hung up today. We're pretty excited about that. So I'll kind of show you what we got going on with the building. Um, we moved in, have done a little bit of remodeling since we've been here. We got the building painted, um, did a few things in back as well, but I'll show you our new future showroom where you guys will be able to pick up your order, shop in person, and see all of our products. Uh, excuse the forklift, we are tearing down a wall. So we got our good buddy Matthew Newman here and Will have demoed this whole wall. So there was an office in here before. Um, this is gonna be the new showroom. Oh, Steve was hiding over there too. Um, this is gonna be our new showroom when you walk into Marsupial Gear. So we're gonna have all of our products on display. You're gonna be able to check them out, touch them, try them on, um, bring your binoculars and test fit if you want. Um, so this, we're gonna tear out this tile, this carpet right here. And what makes it really unique, especially compared to our last location is you're gonna be able to shop right here. And if you look to the left, I'm not gonna be able to see it quite perfectly on video, but that is our entire production floor where we are making all of our gear. Um, so it doesn't get much better. It's kind of like getting the tour of a kitchen when you're at a restaurant and you can watch it be made. But we are literally making all of our products in this production floor, um, which is three times bigger than our last production floor. So we have quite a few more machines. Um, I think we're just gonna follow through or how do you wanna continue this tour? But um, so anywho, yeah, we'll circle back here at the end of the showroom what that's gonna look like. But now we're in our um, production floor. And so we got Juan over here working on prototypes of new things, but then this is all our production floor. So these are all new machines at this, these two rows here. Um, we added all of these, so we're gonna be able to increase our production quite a bit um, once we have new operators um, working here. We have a couple starting next week already. Um, this whole production floor was a metal machine shop before, so we painted the walls, we redid the ceiling paper, we added some air conditioning units, and we added this entire power grid over the sewing floor. So now, instead of cords running on the ground, we have dedicated power lines going to each and every sewing machine. So it keeps it a lot safer in here, a lot cleaner. Um, and we're trying to make it as state of the art as possible um, for all of our operators to be making the best gear in America. Um, actually the best gear in the world. We just happen to make it in America. Um, so this entire production floor is all of our bino packs, um, accessories, chest packs, and things like that. Then in this back corner, we're working on our large format stuff. So the rifle cases that we've been working on, um, we're building out a whole section over here. So this is still work in progress. These are the first run of our bow cases that we're doing. These are the taco style. We're gonna be having another kind as well. We're calling our deluxe, which is gonna be a more robust case. But this is the, the taco style bow case that still uses that dense foam that we were using on our rifle cases. Um, so really durable, really dense, high quality YKK number 10 zipper. Um, so a zipper that's not going to break on you like so many of the cheap bow cases that are out there do. Have a nice quiver pocket along the front, stabilizer pocket, and then some molly webbing to add um, accessories on the front of it. So over here, Nancy's working on some rifle cases over there. Pablo's putting the final touches on some shotgun cases um as well and then we got Romaldo back here sewing some more rifle cases but these two machines are new we have another long arm machine and there's one more over there but and that's what Pablo's working on um, what these machines allow us to do is work with large pieces of fabric at a time um, so instead of folding them on a shorter machine that's got a shorter neck this I think these are 36 inches long um, we're able to fit these bow cases, these rifle cases underneath these machines and are much more ergonomic to work with than the smaller machines over there. So we're building out this area to be our large format production area. And then over here, this is a huge mess. We're actually gonna be moving, I think this racking onto a different wall, but that will be all of our production kits that we are working on. So everything that we sew, we cut first, obviously, and they're putting um, production kits to go to the production floor. Um, so that's everything that's going to be stored on those shelves. So right now, obviously just being in here a week, things are still on the ground. Um, and then towards the front is our QC, um, team. So they're inspecting everything that we're sewing They're They're checking for, um, flaws, but also trimming things, prepping them for the next stage of production. 
Um, so that's up there. And so of all these machines, most of them are about the same, um, but we have a handful of different machines that do different tasks. So um, like Francisco's bar tacking over there, that's that reinforcement stitch that we, we do on all of our products. So he's bar tacking. We got Gaga over here bar tacking. Um, she's adding all the stitching to the bottom of the vinyl pack. So we got that really reinforced bar tack stitch on the bottom and all those high wear areas. Gaga is the fastest bar tacker that we have by far. Francisco's pretty fast, but I think Gaga still got, has them. Um, and then there's a couple other various machines over there. Letty's doing the binding, which is the trim on all that stuff. And then um, we got Rose over here closing bags too. So part of what we wanna do with this new building is show you a lot more behind the scenes of what we do on a daily basis and what goes into every single product um, because we take a lot of pride in what we do. And it's really neat to see this stuff come from a full roll of fabric, get cut and turned into a finished product. Um, and it's all made right here, which is something we're really proud of. Um, so continuing our tour, we will go through our break room. We just had two baby showers today. So we have two um, of our awesome team members. I think they're both having babies next month. Um, and so we had a, a baby shower for both of them today. And then when we get in here, this is gonna be the cutting, shipping, and inventory warehouse. Um, this is the future shipping tables that are just condensed right now, but this will be where all the packages will get assembled, packed and shipped. This is Christian over there hustling away with um, shipping packages out while we're still moving. So we're still trying to get the product out the door. Um, so this is gonna be shipping. I'll take you this way, I guess. Um, right now we got boxes everywhere. So, <coughs> so excuse the mess, but we have our two cutting machines right here, our click presses to stamp out the fabric. Um, those guys are set. We're probably gonna move them a little bit because we have a new Gerber cutter, which is like a CNC machine for fabric getting delivered in about a month. That'll go here and cut all of our fabric as well. Um, Steve over here is rocking and rolling with cleaning all the pallet racking that we just got delivered yesterday. So all this pallet racking is getting cleaned off before we assemble it, um, which is gonna house and hold all of our finished goods. So we are going to, after things get sewn on a daily basis, we put them away on our inventory shelves. So now what's gonna be nice about our new location is all of our inventory is gonna be in one spot, whereas in the past it was spread out. All of our inventory is gonna be here. So when we go shipping, we'll take our little shopping carts, grab all of our product, take it over to the shipping table, ship, package it, it goes right to a roll up door, UPS, post office picks it up at the end of the day. So we're streamlining that process significantly. So all these boxes are gonna be put away on racking. Um, so we're gonna have a lot more space once we get all this stuff off the ground. This warehouse filled up really fast, but I think it's gonna be a lot more spacious once we get all these boxes off the ground. So this is our secondary warehouse. We got fabric over there. We're still kind of figuring out the layout of this. We got some extra shelving that we, we brought over. Um, and then if you circle back around, this is the building's a big triangle. Come through this room. Not quite sure what we're gonna do with this one yet. Might be our film and photography. Right now it's housing all the bow cases inventory that we're building up. So we have, I think 100 is our first batch of Ranger Green and Coyote uh, bow cases. See a bunch of rifle and, and shotgun cases over there as well. Um, keep circling through here. We got into some of our office spaces. So we have a few different office spaces line in back here um, for all of our front office staff and uh, kind of is this big flex space. We'll eventually have a bunch of cubicles or um, I think, what do we want to call that? A bullpen of some sort over in that area for other guys for shipping, marketing, um, everything else that we got going on. So, and then circling back to the front is where we started our tour. Um, you can see Newman and Will are still hammering away at this wall. And so it's opened up our showroom immensely. Um, so it's gonna be a big showroom when we're all said and done. We have lots of product on display. We'd love for you guys to come visit us when we get all set up, um, cause it's gonna be a pretty cool destination. We're gonna try to do a bunch of events here in the back. We have, a big, we have a big yard that we didn't quite show you, but um, yeah, we just wanted to give you guys an update on what we've been doing the past week. I apologize if you placed any orders and things have sl slowed down, but we're trying to, to work and ship at the same time. So 
Um, appreciate you guys following along. This is the, the beginning of the new era of marsupial gear, our new headquarters. We're excited to share it with you guys. Excited for you guys to stop by, shop in person, come see our awesome production team making gear every single day. So check us out at marsupialgear.com and we'll keep you posted on all the new updates.